I ain't touch the chalk, 12 o'clock. You know what it is, man, 12 o'clock. So, all right, man, look, man. So, today's episode, um, Maul has came out and said that he believes that Drake will or could, let's say he, I believe he said he could win upwards of $2 billion in his masters because of harm that UMG has done to him through the Not Like Us record. Um, and um, he's saying that now, this is a bunch of different things, that reason why I would believe that that's not going to happen. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so before I get into that, you know, I got to get on Legendary Spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the show. All the fellas, y'all know to find the ones that just don't harass them. Don't sell no merch. But I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, Cash App is in the description. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000. King of the North, you know what it is. Let me know what kingdom you from. And it's all good. So we're going to get right to it. Let's do it. All right, so this comes courtesy of Nolan. I believe that's his name. And um, yeah, the links will be in the description. So let's get it. So first, let's get into Maul. I think, think Drake. I think I think Drake is gonna ask for something that no artist has ever asked for or received. And it's gonna be very interesting to see if you receive that. As far as money, as far as compensation for damages, mm -hmm. on on the lawsuit side, absolutely. We talking upwards of two billion dollars. Two uh, yeah. billion dollars. He go ask, ask for big three. Okay. Absolute. Man, no. Absolute not. No. You're not gonna get no two billion dollars, bro. You first of all, bro. Let me explain something to you. In the history of anywhere, I don't believe no one has ever won a billion dollars in damages. I believe, yeah, I believe the Sandy Hook did. But that was different. This year, bro, and I think that they retracted some of that too. But you telling me that you believe that Drake is going to sue <clears throat> the <clears throat> for damages in $2 billion? No. They'll get him out of here for that. Trust and believe, they'll get him out of here for that. Ain't no way in the world that they're going to let that go down. No. He wouldn't even get to that point. He wouldn't even get to that point. I don't know why you even encouraging that. Like for real, I just don't. I don't understand why Maul's even saying that. Because I don't think he even. He's he's saying this because he's saying that. But I definitely don't think that <clears throat> that they're going after two billion dollars in damages. No. Mm -mm. No. Because they, they trust and believe they're gonna find something on him and. It's going to be some things that they're going to say, well, you practiced in this, you did this, you did that. Not going to happen. That's not going to happen. They have the records, <laughs> bro. Like, come on, bro. They have the records. They, I just don't see that happening. So let's keep it going. He, he, I'm he act for a big, well, if he gets too, if he, hey, look, at that point, fuck public perception. <laughs> <laughs> it's been real. Yeah. It's been you real. It's been, I'm just right. Another thing, too, y'all, a lot of y'all think that somebody win a lawsuit they get the money right then no they they, they have to pay that over time so it'd be let's say he did win let's say he won two billion dollars they'll say well we we we, we want to be able to pay this for the next hundred years you know what i'm saying that's what they'll tell them they'll say we'll pay for the next hundred years and then they'll be like okay you're getting you or they'll say we only can pay fifty dollars a month or a hundred thousand dollars a month so we could pay. I guess the thing is, people would see he won $2 billion. But no, I don't know where he got that number from, Maul. I don't know where Maul got that number from. Sometimes I think that <clears throat> a lot of these dudes, they say and do things because they think they're in the industry. And they think they are part of the uh, the game. Not to say that Maul, I guess he's a little more closer to being in the industry than I am. But at the same time, I mean, sometimes these people speak for people and they don't even know what they be talking about. There's definitely there's definitely mitigations and things are put in place. I can almost guarantee you 
but there are there are things put in place that will that will make the record labels immune or the record companies immune to anything. There are things put in place for that. Trust and believe. And well, let's keep it going. And at that point, at that point, <laughs> I don't oh, give a oh, fuck what Twitter is, got. Black Twitter is talking about. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck what Black Twitter is talking about. I don't care what the barbershops are talking about. Yep. If I just sue Universal for two billion in my masters and I won, I'm just looking at it like. You know what I mean, how he's see how he's framing it. Oh, if I sue two of uh, Universal for two billion in my masters, it's like what is what is where is all this coming from? You think they're gonna give him two billion dollars and his masters? Like, come on, bro, stop! <laughs> like, stop, bro, stop with the goofy stuff. We'll have to stop being so surface with the shit and saying, "Oh, Drake is mad that he lost." Just take the L. Cool, y'all are talking about a rap battle. This is not the yeah. URL. We talking about the, talking about the business battle. Yes, <laughs> not hey, URL. <laughs> no disrespect to URL and smacking all them. Does those? I support those guys. But this isn't that. This isn't a rap battle. This is Drake versus Universal Music Group. For anybody that doesn't Universal understand what that is. Universal financing both sides of the war. That's they're crazy. financing both sides of the war, and they're in business with the streaming platforms. Yes. But that's not illegal, though. Like, it might seem shady, but it's not illegal for them to be in business with them. Honestly, they kind of have to be in business with them. All of them have to be in business with them because they have they have to figure out, I guess, the way they pay people the money. Like people think that these companies don't supposed to be in business together for some reason. How how else what else are they supposed to do? Now if you're saying that they have backdoor deals, then I'm sure that there's somebody that looked that up. But yeah, they, why wouldn't they be in business with them? And if they're funding both sides of the war, it's not even a, it's not even a war. It's this guy put out music, this guy put out music. That's what it is. We might take it as a war, but it's look they're looking at it like, okay, well, they're making money off. We're making money off of them. So yeah. people gotta pay attention. Let's let's speak to that. Whoever you feel like won the rap battle, bro, salute. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to argue that. That's subjective shit. Cool. If you feel like Kendrick won, yo, yeah. salute. Kendrick is dope. Nobody's ever denying. You can't find me nowhere saying Kendrick is not a dope MC. Yeah. You can't find it. I've never, I'm not. I'm not stupid. He's one of the illest. I'm talking about now. This is away from that. Yeah. This is not a battle. This is a war that's about to happen. That's a fact. And yeah. I think that's what I think. I want people to start talking about online. Let's. Okay. Cool. If you feel like Drake is calling the cops and he's, you know, he's snitching and he's mad that he lost. All right. Great. That's how you feel. Great. What else though? This is what I'm saying. Yeah. So we you see how, and this is another thing that I don't like about that guys like Maul. You see how he so cavalierly just throw that out there. Oh, uh, you think Drake snitching? Like, look, he is snitching, and he is doing something that the culture does not do. You can try to pretend and protect him, but you know for a fact that what he's doing is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want to say he's doing it under pretenses of it being right because someone did him dirty and he has to respond but he's no one's ever done nothing like this and not self-servingly if they did it, it was because they were trying to take down the industry because they don't like how everybody was being uh, taken advantage of this guy's not doing that because of that you know that. Let's start looking at that part of it like we like talking about this boss and ownership and you know doing us and Okay, what I think Drake is doing is one of the biggest boss moves ever. He's directly petitioning for the biggest boss in the music business to come to the table and explain to me what exactly did y'all do on, on the business side of this. You don't have they don't have to. They don't have to come to the table and explain nothing to you. They don't. If you're saying that you think you got a case because you <laughs> because you feel as though that someone was saying things about you, uh defaming you or uh uh you know trying to disparage your character or get you out of here whatever but the thing is is you said these things about him too so they will put in a counter lawsuit against you like it's not gonna this is not gonna fare well from i'm telling you i see him dropping this 
I don't think it's going to go too far. I think maybe by maybe next year sometime he's going to drop it. He's going to drop this case. Because it's not going to it's not going to go nowhere. I'm going to tell you right now. It's not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. Once they start digging into him, yeah, he's going to drop this. I'm going to tell you right now. I need to see all of it. So as y'all can see here, Maul is arguing that Drake is not worried about public perception. He's saying that Drake feels like, fuck what y'all talking about. I'm going to war with the music industry. And I find it very interesting that this is the time that he chose to, to take on this martyr position. Excuse me. And I say martyr position because I've seen some people online trying to portray him just as that. Now, what I find interesting is when Kanye tried to do this, you understand what I'm saying? Kanye, he knew he wasn't going to get out of the situation, which is why he started taking the anti-Semitic route. He knew if I, if I start... Um, going hard at the uh, the Jewish powers that be, they're going to distance themselves from me, which will ultimately make them let me out my deals and my contracts and whatever else is on that paper. They're going to let me go. Yeah, that's what Kanye West thought was what's going to happen. And for some reason, it kind of did in a way. It kind of did, but I think what Drake is trying to do is, a, is much, much different. I think that he's trying to pin something on someone. But at the same time, it's going to probably get pinned on him as well. Because all they got to do is basically look at all the lyrics that he done said about people. And they're going to bring all these to the table. They're going to bring all the lyrics that Drake has said about people to the table. They're going to bring them all. And they're gonna say, well, what would you what did you mean here? 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 Oh, you said this. What did you mean here? But again, like Kendrick said, you got no street smarts, bro. Dumb as a box of rocks. I know Kendrick didn't say that, but you ain't got no street smarts. And what happens when you don't have street smarts? You start making irrational decisions. And I think that's what he's doing. So We'll let Nolan speak a little more than we out here. I do believe that that's what Kanye's ultimate plan was, and he made himself look crazy in the process. But I think that was the psychology behind it to a degree. I don't know everything that Kanye was thinking. But I find it very interesting that in the midst of Kanye doing that, Drake was so consumed in trying to take Kanye out because if you listen to Drake's last three, four albums, he's swinging at Kanye endlessly. Right. So much so at the uh, at the onset of the battle like that is out there. Kanye jumped out and said that Drake had a rich baby daddy in um, Lucian Grange. And he's like he feels like as long as he's comfortably with Lucian, everything is good because he could go back to his rich baby daddy and they're going to give him some more money and it's going to be all great. So all, all gravy. Right. So when other artists in the industry have come out and complained about their financial status being taken advantage of, or even a Kanye who was trying to go head to head with multiple industries, we didn't see Drake change up the formula not one bit. We didn't see Drake complain. We didn't see Drake supporting nobody's mission. And so many people have come out and had positions against the industry. We haven't seen him take none of that. What we did see him take was a 400 approximately $500 million deal that he was happy to rap about, happy to talk about, happy to brag about niggas in their face and say 300 is a low ball and all of this different type of stuff. Now, all of a sudden, two years later, it's a $2 billion play. They, they're um, low balling me. They're using Kendrick Lamar as, um, I don't even know what they're trying, what he's trying to say. They're using Kendrick Lamar as like, Basically saying that they're using him as the new face of the company. That's what I believe. He's the new face. I don't think they're doing that. I don't think they. I don't think he's saying that they're using him as the new face of the company because I don't think Kendrick 
is in bed with them like that. I think that he's saying that he's not the face of the company no more. And he has a problem with that. It has nothing to do with anybody else. And on top of that, <coughs> his music hasn't been, <coughs> excuse me, his music hasn't been doing anything. And that, all that affects him. Being number one, and then another guy comes out and basically crushes you with no promo. So you can't say, oh, it's because these people was pro are promoting him. No. He beat you with no promo. Kendrick don't have no promo. Who's promoting Kendrick? Besides you. <laughs> that's it. You the one that's promoting them, not nobody else. But uh I'll let y'all watch the rest on Nolan's channel. Yeah. He's the only one, I would say. Because he keeps on bringing it up. So obviously people going, they going to say something about it. But he ain't, he not, like he's not a, you know, promotion. It's him. But um, $2 billion, no. Come on, sit down. Stop. It's not going to happen. No. no not gonna win two billion dollars they'll just they'll just what they'll do is first of all if you're trying to if you're trying to blackmail them because basically that's the reason why you're saying this you're basically saying well if you ain't gonna give me enough money i'm going to basically sue y'all for defamation of character because you allowed this song to come out and he and you said some things but what they're gonna their argument is going to be, well, it was a rap battle. That's number one. Number two, he didn't he didn't specifically say that you were a pedo, a pedo, but you did say that his wife had a baby by somebody else, and you did say you did say that uh <clears throat> that he was beating on his wife. You did say that. He never directly said that you. Were a pedophile. He just said certified little boy, certified pedophiles. He ain't say that you were. That's what that's gonna be their argument. You know, say uh trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor, like say Drake, I heard him like him young. That's it. He said, I heard you liked him young. He didn't say, Yeah, you like him young. So y'all gotta pay attention to Kendrick. He's very good with words. And I'm sure he knows exactly what to say and what not to say. And this is the reason why I don't think that they stop not like us because he put he placed things in certain places where they can't really say that. You know what I'm saying? Because people are thinking that you can't say pedophile. Oh, you can't say that. It just it messes everything up. And it's like, I don't know because there's some people who literally say it and everything's fine. But all I'm saying is, at this point, for you to say that he's going to win $2 billion and he won his Masters, I mean, maybe that's wishful thinking for you. Maybe you think that he can get that off on the machine. It's going to be so much litigation for this. If this was to happen, this would be 20, this would be maybe not 20, but this would be like at least, at least 10 years. This would go on for 10 years. Literally go on for like 10 years. This won't this, this won't be something that's just going to happen tomorrow or next year. No. They have to petition this because they don't have a lawsuit yet. It's basically, they're, they're asking the courts to get the paperwork. To get the paperwork from them so they can try to file a lawsuit. But they could get denied or they could say no. They could say, but they did put out a statement, I believe. They did. Uh, UMG said that. For him to for basically for him to say that is crazy. You know what I mean? This that's not common common uh practice that we would do. So I don't know. But uh yeah, man. I'm out of here. Uh y'all have yourself a good afternoon. Six o'clock show. We'll be coming up. If it doesn't, then I'll see y'all the next day. All right. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>